Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got a beer from North Brewing Company and it's a can of their Salted Lime Sour. 4.2% ABV. Purchased this one quite a while ago, probably in February actually, in um, Morrison's. Morrison's in Sittingbourne, no less. 4.2% uh, and it's in collaboration with Bundabust, which is a uh, street food kind of Indian type they got a bar to serve beer in Leeds um, so yeah they've now got uh, bars in Manchester and Liverpool as well so um, I had a few of their food items before for many years and yeah really damn good so this is basically to accompany um, the food in Bundabust so so North Brewing Company of course they're out of Leeds as well West Yorkshire so it's a 440 mil can then it says here on the can Ingredients then, water, barley, lime juice, wheat, lime zest, yeast and salt. So it's classed as a fruited sour. So this is interesting. Not a fruited goes. So with the salt, I thought, oh, you know, you know, never know. Anyway, this has been out a fair while. There's been a few reviews of it already. But I'm not for one of these people who go into, oh, there's a new beer, got to get it. I'm not, you know. It, or it has to be a beer that actually takes my interest. That's another thing. So this one did. Um, trying to think if it was actually uh, Morrison's. I don't think it was. See, I don't even know. No, I'm just thinking now. I've got this in Sainsbury's. So apologies about that. Wrong information. But I admit to it. So I'm cool with that. Hopefully you are too. So beer in a glass then, it's a one finger, just above a one finger, white frothy head. Kind of slightly see-through, hazy, yes, but not, not kind of as you'd expect it, you know, anything else. So yeah, gentle carbonation, nothing crazy, straw in colour. Give it a swirl and sniff, head's dropped down to just below one finger head now. Yeah, yeah, really vibrant. Definitely getting that kind of salty aspect of the beer. Definitely that lime. Cook a few stir fries now and again. Always add a bit of lime juice. Definitely getting that coming through. Freshly squeezed, no less. A little bit, I don't know if it's white pepper or something. There's no spices in this apparently, so. It smells as you'd expect this get in. Cheers. Got an edge to it, got that puckeriness a little bit. As I would expect in every first mouthful of a sour, or at least what I want. Definitely getting that bite, that saltiness straight away. Coming down to a nice, I mean, it could be classed as a palate cleansing beer, especially with Indian food. Be quite interesting to try this with an Indian. Again, availability of this at the moment, I don't know. I got this, as I say, in, a, in about, yeah, February, when me and Jake were doing a, uh, kind of classic supermarket beers there was a few kind of craft items there that I, I picked up and this was one of them in Sainsbury's in Margate as well so I was just trying to think because I can't I, I've probably been to a supermarket for beer twice this year I got it wrong <laughs> oh well but yeah this is a very easy drinking beer that initial kind of Sour stroke tartness has dropped as expected, but then it's more to the middle part of the palate where you get that that slight kind of tart. Almost reminds me of a grapefruit type thing. That sharpness, but the lime is definitely lime all the way. 
I say it's been sat in the fridge since February, so I thought that was about time. Coming into some warmer weather in the next few days, so I thought, yeah, give it a crack. Bit of a bit of a hiss on it. I'm doing it up there for you, got a thing. Not something I'm going to drink loads of because I sours, you know. Um, it's one of them beers. Try it once, where you're just having one beer, or between beers. Sometimes, it, you know, as a a change your your palate up, but perhaps between an IPA and a stout. Chuck chuck one of them in the mix straight after. Um, a nice clash. Of the taste buds really um, and then you set up for the next beer if you're doing a few beers or whatever out with friends in a you know a craft bar or something like that then um, it's, I like the contrast between styles um, and even in this even in the um, the winter months I, I'm fine for drinking stuff like this like as I am stouts and imperial stouts in the summer months so a lot of people drink to season which is fine I used to um, but then I don't really want to wait six months to have an imperial stout or six months to have a sour. So that's how I've changed with that. But overall, an easy drinking one. I can't remember how much I paid for it. It's probably in around about the three fifty mark, three pound. I don't know. Is it still available? It could be. I think someone reviewed it recently, so it should be still around. Let me know if I've had this one before. This is uh, salted lime sour. From North Brew and Co. Collab with Bundo Bust, both in Leeds in West Yorkshire. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you had it before down below. See you on the next review. Cheers.